obviously. Trigger warning if you are not aware of the content of Quiet on the Set, The Dark Side of Kids Television, which is a docuseries that just came out on HBO and is fully complete and available. It does have to do with sexual abuse of children from adults who were in power and were supposed to be taking care of them. So that is a very uncomfortable topic and I, I encourage everyone to be aware that that is what you will be watching four episodes about. I thought I would take a little break from the horror that I've been watching on Shudder and watch a documentary and I, I've been excited to see this one come out because I feel like I really didn't know anything about this. I am a little too old to have watched any of these television shows. I, I kind of caught the tail end of the beginning of, of Nickelodeon and, and was a big fan of Ren and Stimpy so I have lived through watching the creator of something I really cared about wind up being a grooming uh, sexual assailant from Nickelodeon. This does not seem to be a unfamiliar trope to have happened. That being said, I wound up still watching a horror. This was horrific. This was really difficult to get through and I know you're thinking, well, it's because it's about sexual assault. Yes, absolutely. Um, it was incredibly difficult to get through because you're going to witness a lot of people talk about having known that this was happening, having thoughts that things were going bad, seeing things. And I know that hindsight is, is twenty twenty, but some of the stuff that you are shown, specifically the stuff with Ariana Grande that apparently only aired on the internet, is I don't know how you could say it was a different time because that's that was just child pornography that they that they made for Nickelodeon. It, I have been watching a lot of people talk about this and give their reviews and I have seen a theme of, of people getting really angry and rightfully goddamn so. I think that it is impossible to watch this documentary series and not feel so upset and to not feel like you have watched, you have watched a horror movie. Late Night with the Devil is about a man who is willing to give up anything for the price of fame. And Quiet on the Set is a movie about children who thought that this kind of treatment was the cost of fame. And to speak up or to say anything to power was going to be the end of their lives, their future, their family's security, all kinds of really malicious, horrific stuff. But, um, and this is a little bit of a spoiler, if you don't want to know exactly how this ends. I found it to be the, one of the most horrific endings to something I had watched. Because you get to listen to the victims tell you that they really do want to see better safeguards and, and more work put towards stopping this abuse in the children's entertainment industry. But they know very damn well that these efforts will likely go to vain. And that just feels like the most horrific thing that I can possibly think of. There's um, a book by Douglas Preston called The Monster of Florence, and in it they talk about um, the murders in Italy uh, that wound up in influencing what we know to be Hannibal Lecter. And in it he talks about the concept of, of someone going truly bad. And he said that madness is a scream, not screamed, because the person knows no one is listening anymore. And that's what this movie feels like. It feels like a rage scream into a muffled cushion. Really, really difficult to watch. Um, but I'm really glad that this is out there and that the people who did not have the chance to say anything or who tried to say something in prior and were silenced got, got the chance to say this. That being said, uh, watch this at your discretion. It is a difficult watch.